Hello, this is Tim Bradford, CEO and co-founder of Whitfu. Today we're going to do a quick solution overview of Whitfu Precinct, including a little background on our company, how Precinct works, how it's deployed, how it's licensed and priced, as well as some of the challenges our platform can address for security teams. A more detailed technical demonstration of Precinct can be viewed in the video below this one on our website. Whitfu was formally incorporated in February of 2016, but our history goes back a lot further, dating back to the late 90s while <clears throat> I was building my career selling enterprise software solutions. Our co-founder, Charles Herring, was serving 10 years active duty in the U.S. Navy, fixing fighter jets on naval aircraft carriers. Shortly after 9-11, with the increased focus on cyber warfare, he was detailed to the Naval Postgraduate School to develop a network security program. Going from the established, well-documented craft of naval aviation and into the unestablished craft of cybersecurity, he quickly encountered the challenges of an immature craft, the kinds of challenges that still plague security operations teams today. During his time at NPS, uh, NPS, Charles began researching ways to advance the craft of cybersecurity, which are really the underpinnings of what Whitfu Precinct has become today. Uh, around the same time, he was also working for the InfoWorld Test Center, evaluating and, re and reviewing security solutions for both vendors and the broader InfoSec community. We had the good fortune of meeting each other in 2012 at a company called Landcope, which was later acquired by Cisco Systems. Uh, at Landcope, we served as an account team together, tasked with selling to the Global 2000. And through our combined experience, the lessons learned and fueled by Cisco's acquisition, uh, we were inspired to uh, build WITFU and begin researching ways to further advance the craft of cybersecurity and specifically security operations. In our experience, <clears throat> security operations has two major categories of challenges, expertise and work. Uh, the depth and the breadth of knowledge required to be successful in cybersecurity is immense. There are literally, literally hundreds of different security tools, each with their own complexities, hundreds of different attack types, which are constantly changing, various data types across different domains with no clear relationships. You have to be somewhat versed in the business and understand diverse compliance and security frameworks to, to truly be effective. So. The wit of WITFU is crowdsourcing that expertise and mechanizing it into our platform, uh, applying time-tested approaches from physical law enforcement to better understand security events and to accelerate incident response. Uh, the second set of challenges results from the workload. Uh, there's simply too much work required to process all the alarms, perform all the investigations and conduct remediation efforts to constantly tune noisy security tools and report all of your findings to the broader organization. So the FOO of WITFU is putting that crowdsource expertise to work by automating data enrichment, automating incident response, and augmenting investigative cycles whenever possible, and really deriving maximum value from your existing security investments. In our mission to advance the craft, we've identified what we refer to as the, the seven unstable conversations in cybersecurity that our platform has to solve for. The first is that investigators do not understand what their tools are trying to tell them. Second is that the managers of those investigators have no way of metering success of their teams or understanding what their teams need to be successful. Those, so, those same managers cannot effectively communicate value to the broader business. Today, organizations have no way of holding security vendors accountable for the goods and services that they've sold them. Uh, organizations today cannot safely share information with one another without introducing unnecessary risk. And conversations six and seven have to do with chain of custody and engaging law enforcement to deliver the evidence required to actually prosecute cyber criminals. Uh, through ongoing research and development, we have brought WITFU Precinct to market to help stabilize these conversations. 
Precinct is the industry's first diagnostic sim, combining the best capabilities of legacy sim solutions, SOAR, and incident response platforms, all delivered in a single solution and offered at the industry's best price point. Included at no additional cost is a community-driven threat feed, and we are the first to market to deliver real security business metrics generated solely from machine data. The flexibility of our platform allows for global deployments in less than 60 minutes, and Precinct is completely turnkey, requiring no professional services to deploy. <clears throat> to deliver all these capabilities, we take a, a three-phased approach to uh, evolving security data. Uh, we collect, normalize, and store all data, employing a cost-contained license model that ensures our customers can analyze all of their data. Uh, we then analyze the data using human-learned insights and time-tested approaches from physical law enforcement to reduce the number of things requiring human investigation, as well as the time it takes to complete any investigation, and lastly, to allow for non-technical managers and executives to understand the health of the security practice. Precinct organically produces metrics on compliance readiness, the effectiveness of your security architecture, and the efficiencies of any personnel that are working in our platform. With Precinct, data collection is greatly simplified through a patent pending process called adaptive parsing. Precinct supports all syslog, NetFlow, and API data sources, as well as data from Elastic Beats agents and Kafka clusters without having to build or maintain parsers. Uh, messages entering Whitfield Precinct are automatically fingerprinted and parsed into a standardized schema called a Whitfield artifact for simplified searching. Any unidentified message are uh, sanitized and sent up to our WITFU library service so the message can be researched <clears throat> and a new parsing template can be created, um, tested, and retrospectively applied to any identified messages. Adapt adaptive par parsing, excuse me, adaptive parsing is an industry first as well and it alleviates the, alleviates the burden from our customers of having to build or maintain their own parsers. The result of that adaptive parsing is called a WITFU artifact, and it consists of the unaltered message and up to about 90 other potential fields that are extracted during the parsing process. Our investigative engine then pours over the artifacts to identify different entities, clients, servers, users, files, and emails. Relationships are then established between these entities, and over time, baselines and counters are established for each entity and the relationships between them, resulting in an enriched artifact. The enriched artifacts are then evaluated by our rules engine to identify suspicious activity, any matches, create leads, which are then passed to our SOAR engine, to perform additional lookups and actions to eliminate false positives and to validate any leads coming from the rules engine. Validated leads are then stitched together into incidents, which are then used to perform investigations and to calculate the business metrics. This is a very simple example of how incident creation works. We know that client A exists on the network because we've received a DHCP lease renewal from Microsoft. We then really receive another message from CrowdStrike Falcon that user one has an active session with client A and file Z, which contains some type of malware, is also present and, sh and showing exploitative behavior. We then receive another message from Cisco Firepower that a C2 relationship exists between server B and client A, and through a form of natural language processing called semantic framing, we also understand the intent of these messages and why the respective tools are sending them to us, which drives our suspicion of each incident. So it's not just understanding the source of the message and which data goes in which fields, but actual comprehension of the message that drives suspicion. Displaying these incidents for investigators utilizes another patent pending innovation called temporal link analysis. Much like the link boards we see in TV detective shows, temporal link analysis builds graph relationships between different hosts that are ex exhibiting different stages of attack chain behaviors to model the MO of attackers, right? To identify the method and the motivation behind an attack 
and its potential impact on the business. These incidents increase clarity for investigators and significantly reduce the unit of investigation. A single WITFU incident can represent hundreds or even thousands of unique alarms, and not only do they reduce the unit of investigation, but Equally important, they also establish a unit of measure for us, which enables all of our business metrics. These different funnels uh, represent the reduction in work that Precinct delivers through all of our unique innovations. Alarms and alerts get filtered into leads, which are evaluated to remove false positives. Any validated leads are stitched together into graph relationship incidents, which are automatically checked for disruption. Disruption occurs when Precinct notes that something else upstream in the architecture, maybe a firewall or an IPS, has already stopped nefarious activity from progressing. Precinct will verify that the activity has been contained and flag it accordingly, therefore removing any disrupted incidents from the human work queue. Any remaining incidents that have not been flagged for disruption are prioritized and presented to the investigative team by order of their suspicion score. Now, suspicion is just a score from zero to one, with zero representing certainty that an incident is benign, and one representing certainty that an incident is nefarious and is gonna require remediation. Through these different phases of automated analysis, the investigative engine delivers a greater than 90% reduction in time and labor spent performing security investigations. And while the work is being done, the system is organically producing metrics on the efficiencies of the people doing the work, as well as the effectiveness of your security architecture. And these reports really represent the final stage of security data evolution. Armed with real metrics, the security practice can now communicate more effectively with auditors and the broader business, allowing for more meaningful conversations, not only within the security practice, but all the way up to the board of directors, uh, de delivering metrics on compliance readiness, operational efficiencies, tool effectiveness, tool gap and overlap analysis, and staffing requirements. Recently introduced with Precinct 6.1 is Aggregation Mode. Aggregation Mode supports multi-tenancy for our MSSP partners and allows for federated security operations. Uh, there is no limit to the number of tenants or customers uh, that an aggreg aggregator node can support, and tenants can report to more than one aggregator node at the same time. Uh, beyond the uh, MSSP use case, aggregation mode is useful for M&A activities, for cyber insurers to assess risk or determine premiums associated with underwriting an organization, as well as multiple different use cases we're working on with the Department of Defense. Uh, another new feature that was introduced recently is the WITFU Global IOC feed, which allows our customers to anonymously share information with one another about bad actors <clears throat> and other indicators of compromise. The feed includes detection methods, characteristics, suspicion scores, GOIP and ASN resolution, as well as retrospective analysis on uh, IOC hits. The IOC feed is really a leap forward in allowing organizations to safely share information with one another, which is that unstable conversation number five, and it delivers a very high fidelity threat feed for the WITFU community. Uh, customers must opt into the IOC feed in order to benefit from the IOC feed. 6.1 also introduced codeless API integrations. We build API integrations around the open API specifications so they can be imported or built in our interface without having to know how to code anything. And now we don't expect our customers to build their own APIs. That's part of our license agreement. Uh, so we work with our customers to build the integrations that they require and when applicable, we can share them with the broader WITFU community. Uh, this leads to our approach of SOAR, uh, or Security Orchestration and Automated Response, and our approach is different than the rest of the industry. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, traditional SOAR is analyzed from an event level and employs really Boolean logic, if-then scenarios. So if you think of flow charts or playbooks that can become extremely complex and expensive to maintain over time. Precinct's 
object-oriented approach to SOAR utilizes an incident as the unit of analysis. And with the incident, we already understand the context of an attack, the, the state of all nodes, edges, and artifacts available. Our observations impact the suspicion of an, inc of an incident. And as it approaches one, we already understand the MO of the attack, its potential impact on the business, and uh, we have sufficient evidence to respond. Along with codeless integrations, we also support uh, codeless response jobs, leveraging Amazon State's language. So you can build these playbooks and responses like, you know, quarantine a host, open a ticket, or uh, add a machine to a blacklist, any sort of complex thing you want to come up with. All of these things are supported in our codeless SOAR. So you can just graphically build out your response jobs. Again, we don't expect our customers to do any of this on their own. The ability to create your own response jobs exists, but our support team will build any response jobs required as part of our license agreement. Our platform is architected for infinite scale and flexibility. Witfu Precinct can be deployed on physical servers, virtual machines, on-premise, in the cloud, or a hybrid of all three. Certified Witfu resale partners can also host Witfu as a service for their customers. And our platform is now available in AWS, Azure, Oracle, and the Google Cloud marketplaces with both a pay-as-you-go or a bring-your-own license consumption model. Not only can you deploy Precinct in the cloud, but we have deep API integrations with the cloud analytic platforms like Amazon CloudWatch and Azure Graph for our customers that want to collect and analyze, the, analyze those logs in Precinct. For smaller deployments, Precinct can be deployed as an all-in-one virtual appliance and scaled vertically by increasing RAM, CPU, and storage resources. For larger environments, horizontal scaling is recommended, allowing for unlimited data processing and unlimited data retention. Scaling horizontally requires a multi-node deployment, deploying precinct into different node cluster. I'm sorry, node clusters. A streaming cluster, which handles all the adaptive parsing, a data cluster, which stores all the artifacts, and a management or an IE cluster, which houses the user interface and applies all of the automation logic to the big data stack. Horizontal scaling is highly recommended for any production deployment and greatly facilitates future expansion requirements. As data processing and retention thresholds are approached, notifications are triggered, alerting the user to generate another node wherever it is needed. The system automatically recognizes the type of node that's been created and balances the data load accordingly. All purchases of Witfu Precinct are made through certified Witfu partners using a cost-contained license model that is tied only to the number of users in an organization. For license calculation, a user or a knowledge worker is anyone in the organization with an email address or non-guest network access. In addition, we offer both volume and term discounts to our customers, making Precinct an affordable solution for any size organization. We have just recently added a second license option uh, based on the number of core CPUs required to house a precinct deployment. This model was established at the request of our MSSP partners, and the details can be found on the pricing page of our website. We strive to be completely transparent when it comes to pricing. As such, we allow anyone to self-generate their own quotes using our online pricing calculator, which is available on our website or by following the URL at the bottom of this slide. Launching a trial of WITFU is free. It's easy and it does not require you providing us any of your contact information. You just click the download now button on any page of our website and select the deployment option that best suits your needs. Uh, detailed system requirements and deployment instructions are provided on the download pages and once the appliance has been installed and registered, a trial license key is issued to the user for a 30-day evaluation. These trial keys can easily be converted into production keys uh, at the request of the customer.
We have built Precinct to be a turnkey, affordable, and scalable solution for any organization looking to improve their approach to cybersecurity operations. We are dedicated to our mission, the success of our customers, and the success of our partners. With 2 Precinct is security leveled up.